We can all remember times that mosquitoes make being outside unbearable. In Florida, mosquito control protects human and animal health by controlling mosquitoes. But how do they accomplish this? Uh, I'm Casey Parker. I'm an entomologist with a specialty in mosquito control. So we're gonna be going around Volusia County, hauling around mosquito control as they do their routine, everything that mosquito control does. It is dense in here. <laughs> All right, this is the first step. We're gonna try to find some mosquitoes, see what's out and about right now. You have to kind of climb through here. Yeah, get it. And then this is the catch chamber. So if we just look in here, you can see a bunch. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah. We want to make sure that we understand what kind of mosquitoes are out here, why they're here, and how many. You're going to have a totally different program if you have Anopheles crucians in here versus Aedes aegypti. The programs are just not going to look the same. You see, both of these can be a nuisance to humans, but they occupy completely different habitats. Therefore, if they know what species are in the traps, they know what habitats need to be targeted for treatment. Kind of the first step in the whole chain. Mm -hmm. In fact, all of the control decisions are based off of surveys like this. Step two, eliminate water bodies around homes. All right, this is a home inspection. And to show how it might be, we staged a mock interaction with the manager of mosquito control. Volusia County Mosquito Control? I can't even make it to my car without being attacked by mosquitoes. I think it's my neighbor. Did you see that? No. Did you see it fly by? That was, was, that, was that typical? Was that, that, that was more real? Well, not really. <laughs> They're always taking it someone else. Well, what do we do first? Initially, when I'm walking up to the property, I'm, I mean, I'm looking for ditches and stuff like that. So is it mostly people having like old containers out in the yard, that um, kind of thing? Yes, it could be gutters, it could be buckets, it could be a whole bunch of things. Rather than putting chemicals in, we just tip and turn it. And this is one of the biggest steps, just eliminate the places where mosquitoes could develop. So we walked around and found a ton of places, things I wouldn't normally have thought about. Tires, buckets, old swimming pools, kayaks, tarps, kids toys, even inside these plants. The point is, if you're a homeowner and you want to get rid of mosquitoes, this is your first line of defense and one thing you can definitely do. From here, mosquito control can do one of two things. Treat for larvae and treat for adult mosquitoes. If you don't have fish in this much water, you're gonna have a lot of mosquito larvae. First, let's look at approaches to reduce larvae. We're looking at a larval site called VTI. VTI is a, a naturally occurring soil bacterium that acts as a stomach toxin when it's ingested by mosquito larvae. VTI is a fantastic method because it targets mainly the mosquito larva. This is only going to affect the larvae that eat this actual toxin. So just animals that are swimming around in the water, like fish, it's not going to affect them. That was just like one random dip. This would be an unbearable place to live. Oh yeah. If you didn't at least treat for mosquitoes. So if it wasn't for mosquito control, I know I wouldn't live in Florida. And this is important to note, Florida is naturally pretty swampy and there are a lot of mosquitoes here. The addition of larvicides by hand or say by helicopter allows people to live with less mosquitoes and thus less disease. But BTI is only one of the ways mosquito control can stop larvae from developing. Other methods might include liquid insecticides such as spinosad, another substance from soil bacterium put directly into catch basins like this. So this is a larvicide treatment. So with this, we're specifically targeting the immature stage of the mosquito that's inhabiting this catch basin over here. Larvicides are killing the mosquito larvae. And in all of these treatments, they're always taking water samples to figure out what's there. Catch basins are way overdue for treating. <laughs> <laughs> then, mosquito control also has the option to knock down adult populations via trucks like this. So this is a ULV spray machine creating very small particles of insecticide to be delivered out to kill those adult mosquitoes. Oh, that's cool. Check this out, Jonas. Each truck is equipped with a GPS unit that helps track when and where they've been. If you have someone in an area that says, hey, they missed my street, I didn't see any spray truck go by, we can go refer back to that system and say, actually, there was a truck that went by at 8.46 p.m. Um, and it was driving at 12 miles an hour. Getting adult mosquitoes like this can be really important, especially if there's a disease outbreak in the area, as these mosquitoes can serve as the vectors of that disease. And the final step is public outreach. Do you find that most people know everything they need to know about mosquitoes no. already? <laughs> no, no they don't. We just try to get everybody educated on you know, what they can do to help us with the, you know, controlling the mosquitoes. Mosquito control is doing what they can to try to get the message out. And hopefully you learned a little bit with this video. Point is, we all have a role to play in controlling mosquitoes. So let's do a quick recap of what we've learned. Mosquito control first assesses the kind and number of mosquitoes in an area. This then determines what kind of treatment they do. The first line of defense and something we can all help with is simply getting rid of standing water. Then they have different options to treat larvae and adults. 
But all of this is based off of field surveys with the ultimate goal of improving human health. And we want to make sure that people have a longevity of life, a life that they can enjoy. That's what we want. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure to watch the other videos we made in this series about mosquitoes and their control.